Hey y'all, today I'm going to be breaking down a great budget shotgun that will keep you from having to spend millions of rubles on silent caliber, setup, or honestly even when you just feel like running a shotgun. The MP155. Let's get into it. So jumping right into the first build, I'm going to be showing y'all the MP155 unsuppressed first. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to skip ahead. Anyways, starting with the stock version of the gun, replace the wooden handguard with the Ultima version. Then add the Ultima pistol grip. And then from there we can also add the Ultima stock, and end that with a rubber butt pad. I personally like the largest option the most, just due to the additional recoil mitigation, but the other butt pads do provide more ergo if you would like that. Now moving to the front end of the gun, let's switch out the 6 round mag into the 8 round magazine. Then as well we'll add the cylinder adapter to the barrel. From there, if you can purchase this from the trader, I'd recommend adding the Monster Claw muzzle brake, but if you can't purchase it, that's okay, and the GK02 muzzle brake will work as well. If you would like to add a flashlight to your build, you can add the Ultima short rail, but I won't be using that in this build. Finally, we'll add the Ultima top rail, which allows you to add both front and rear sights, as well as an optic. For the additional ergo, you can add these Embus iron sights optionally, and then I would take your pick of sights. I personally use the XPS 3-0, but I won't be including this sight in the price of this build just because everyone uses a different sight, so the price might vary. So altogether, this build costs around 75,000 rubles without a sight. A quick tip I'd recommend when you're buying the parts for this gun is make sure that you uncheck the traders only option at the top and as well make sure you remove the unnecessary parts that come with the gun, such as this 510mm barrel. As well, it is worth noting that the MP155 is usually sold with an extremely low durability, so make sure you filter for the shotgun and then buy one that actually has a decent durability. Now for this video I'm not planning on comparing the recoil with anything, but I will showcase the recoil as a standalone clip just to give you an idea of what it looks like. For this test I am shooting the shotgun as fast as I can, but it is possible that the recoil will vary slightly depending on how fast you click and your recoil skill. Now the second MP155 build is going to be a quick little uh, clip just because it's not that complicated. We'll be using the exact same base layer that we just created. The only change is that instead of the GK02 muzzle brake or the Monster Claw muzzle brake, we'll just switch that out with the Hexagon 12K instead. This will add around 20K to the overall cost depending on which muzzle brake you had chosen previously, but this is the build that people would be using for silent caliber and maybe even set up if you know you want to suppress shotgun. Now I will just quickly showcase the recoil of this build as well if you just want to have an idea of how it varies. I would say that it's definitely higher than the unsuppressed version, but overall I'd say that it's still not really that bad. I'd like to quickly thank Shady on YouTube for the suggestion of a shotgun video. I really appreciate all the suggestions that people have been sending me in the comments, and please do keep putting your suggestions for guns, build breakdowns, and heck, any other video ideas y'all have down below. Anyways, let's quickly finish up by discussing ammunition. I'm not going to go super into detail about stats or any other strange little shotgun rounds, however, I will suggest which ammo you should probably use depending on what you have access to. Magnum Buckshot, Flechette Ammo, and 5.25mm Buckshot are all really good options. Now if you have access to AP20, that is also a great option, however I know a lot of players do not have access to it and it is locked behind setup as well, which is kind of the only time people would want to be using AP20 or even a shotgun. Overall I'd suggest using either Flechette or 5.25mm Buckshot, as I find that Magnum Buckshot adds a significant amount of recoil, and I personally haven't had good luck with it. However, definitely try each round and see what you like best. So that's all I have for you today about the MP155. If you'd like to hear about more budget guns, take a look at some of the videos on screen right now. This one I talk about budget SMGs, and in this one I discuss some budget loadouts. Hopefully you like those. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.